What's up guys, Bahama here. First off, I want to start the video off with the right kind of energy. All praises goes to the Most High Yahweh. The main thing, what I love about this spiritual journey is the more questions you ask, the more you will receive. And I know it's hard with this new age movement, you know, and believe in certain things, but just like the Bible, just like the things in the world, everything is mixed with truth and lie. But understand, even if it's edited, even if it's, you know, they're, they're, you have to use your own discernment. But Yahweh is king. All these people did was change the faces, the names, and, you know, some of this shit is just mixed up and put here and put there. This is why it's hard, especially, in the, you know, in a melanated community, you know, it's kind of hard for y'all to accept it. But just look at the shit, the Vatican, you know, look at the Vatican, look how Putin released those those paintings and stuff and how, you know, the depictions of their Jesus was was black and all that. Like, all you need to understand is that he's real. He is real. Don't matter what his name is. Don't matter what you believe it is. All you know is that this individual exists. God, the almighty is real. It doesn't matter. This is a constant battle of spiritual warfare, and I'm understanding that. I am truly understanding that this is a spiritual war. There's no time for games. A lot of your enemies, you know, a lot of the people slander your name throughout the community. You know, they always want to label you, oh, you serious, you that, you know. There's different titles for you figuring out yourself and having a spiritual battle. They don't understand is because they are with Satan. Satan's not worried about worried about people always already living in his reality, living the way he wants them to live. People who seek in knowledge and understanding and, and trying to find the light, he is fucking with them the hardest. And now is at the all time high where people is coming in a new knowledge and, you know, new information and just trying to find their way to what side is right. Y'all need to understand that a lot, even these YouTubers and stuff, a lot of these people is mixing truth and lie, but you need to, you need to really use, use your discernment to see, you know, a lot of people just to, you know, kind of sidetrack a little bit, but with Rashad Jamal and Kali, they speak a lot of truth. Yes, but it's also lies, confusion. And I know people might be hurt hearing that, but all I'm going to say is Rashad Jamal. Look at when he look at pictures of him when he had on this Lakers jersey or whatever, and just look at the stuff he was saying, or look at this, look at the things he were he was doing in those pictures. And yeah, he might not do it anymore. He he's locked up or whatever. But it's like look at the gestures and the hand he was doing all the subliminal things, and they they have to let you know. And it's just so funny how lost we are. How lost is a people at that? Like even if you if you people want to sit there and say, oh, the Bible's not real and all that stuff, just why if the Bible's not real, if the teachings and you cause like I say, you have to use your own discernment. If this is not real, then why are the people on top? Why are they not following to the T? Why are they doing all this sick shit behind closed doors? You know, if the Bible wasn't real, you wouldn't you think that the people on top will follow that A1? Follow it to a T, but they don't. Even the churches. The churches kill Yahweh, if you ask me. It, it you have it's it's like they split everything up in this science and spirituality, and you know, I don't believe in the religion thing. I believe you have to study things for yourself. You don't have to join a group to accept God's love and all that. No, I think that shit is just a distraction. You don't need a preacher to tell you this and that. No, you have to go within, you have to study, you have to research, you have to figure everything out on your own. And it sucks, you know, but it's the truth. At the end of the day, you truly have to go within. But don't go within to the point where you're following the teachings of these other, like, spiritual teachers on YouTube and shit. Just look at this shit that they do. Even with Kala, speaks a lot of truth. Tells you about your body, you know, everything. But then look when he when he um, implements like his, his clothings, the symbols he throw up and all, they have to give you the truth and a lie. And he speaks like, oh, you don't need love and, you know, you need value and appreciation. But really, love is the strongest frequency. Yeah. In this world. And he, he, he makes some points about how, you know, 
like love people who say they they love you do the most heinous shit. You know, that's true. But that's because in the first place, they didn't love you. They didn't love you in the first place if they're doing that sick shit. Love is truly destroying. If you truly love somebody, if you truly have that value and appreciation and love, you wouldn't hurt them. A lot of these people don't love. This is why they hurt, you know. And for my perps that's watching, you know, this whole journey through me has been a complete mind fuck, you know, a complete just just war battle, you know, especially where I'm at. Like my, my harassment got to the point where it's like damn near the whole city knows me. Think about it, bro. No no devilish per the devilish people in the world aren't getting harassed and stalked and followed and and, and slandered and talked about and, and shamed and workplace mobbed and people who 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 stuck in Babylon, they're not dealing with this shit, bro. Y'all need to understand time is almost up. And they, they, you need to pick sides. It, it sucks to say that it's a sad thing, but it's the truth. You know, because even in my head, that's why I picked the name Bahamut, the story of Bahamut. You know, it's like he, you know, the the, la the last recent story of the, the Bahamut is why I picked the name is because it's like he pretty much Bahamut is like um, the what's the thing? It's like, um, forget, forgive me. Just got to get my bearings together. It's uh, basically it's like an entity of mankind's um, like, oh, my guess, like inner rage and like, you know, not rage. Well, rage and like it's like a combination of thing. It's like mankind's happiness and rage made to want to to like battle good and evil. That's why I picked it, because it's, it's pretty much like a force that's like, you know what? Fuck this sad. Fuck that sad. And, you know. Long story short, you know, I'm realizing my mistakes. I'm, and that's why I say I love this spiritual journey because you realize things, you know, you, you have an understanding of things. And it's like all these things in this world and different beliefs and this new spiritual shit. This is these are just tactics of the devils. I don't want to lose y'all too much because I'm coming into new information. I'm learning things myself. So I can't go in a full detail about my spiritual journey. I just understand that what I'm going through is a battle. People who, who knows me, you know, throughout Pittsburgh, who secretly watch me, don't say shit. You know, you want to call me crazy, you look at me in public, you try to synchronize with me to do shit. Understand, bro, I am fighting. Not only that I had to conquer my demons, you know, I had to work on myself. At the same time, I'm battling city. I'm battling a city full of people that refuse to fight their own demons. To, who refuse to, to go within and work on themselves. This is why they look at God's chosen people and, you know, and they notice us. They notice us going through this shit and getting better or falling back down, getting better. You know, and it's like, like I said, I don't want to, you know, go off topic or whatever, but it's just like, this is a spiritual battle. People who get targeted by whole communities, bro, they're already a part of the Babylonian system. They already picked their side. You know, this is why they gaslight you. You know, the gaslighting is unreal. You know, most people have different responses of their targeting. One of one of my responses is since I don't know who to trust, I'm not going to talk to nobody. And I'm damn sure not going to feel bad about it either because this is a time or this battle is, is is real. There's a real spiritual battle because time is short. Satan is collecting as much as souls to keep him on the fucking planet, on this world. When that split happened, a lot of him, there's like heaven will be short, like few. You know, I don't mean that to scare nobody or nothing, but When you're dealing with shit, getting harassed by a whole city, bro, where everybody just knows some fucked up thing about you. And, you, you know, you, they look at your actions, you just mind your own business, but is they're still led by slander, rumors and lies like. There's there's no time for me to, to be chill, sit on a block, sit down and talk to people and and no. I'm, I'm here to strengthen myself. I'm here to find out truth. I'm here to seek true love. 
true uh, value and appreciation in others and in myself. This is why it, only people who's going through this babble, or battle will understand what I'm truly speaking about. It's a constant battle every day. And the same people calling me crazy and weird is the same people harassing me, you know, playing behind the scenes, you know, you know, bringing in flying monkeys like, oh, look, he's crazy. He's cra look at he's acting weird. And but really, they don't understand. I'm battling, you know, not only I'm battling myself because you are your own biggest, biggest enemy. Not only I'm battling myself, but like I said, I'm battling the demons of other people. I'm battling people that refuse to 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 work on themselves like they they can't help but to wake up and and stalk and harass and torture and laugh and joke and you they're Satan got them where he, where he wants them this is a war over your mind body and soul and I, the more I come into self come into my my true self and work on myself put the right shit on my body like I've been saying the more I realize how bad it really is and it, it's not not to be scared of, not to have fear for it. Just trust and believe. God's children, we have no fear. You know, this is this is why they try so hard to have people running your path, come out at the last second to try to induce fear. These people are filled with fear. These that's that's why they're led by rumors and lies. That's why they can't. They lack the inability to think for themselves, use their own discernment. They just listen to whatever the program tells them to do and just go along with it. You know, there's, there's no point of feeling mad at them. Yeah, after when you first experience it, yeah, you're going to be mad. You're, you're going to go through the cycle, and that's what I'm. That's what I mean about going to the whole gaslighting shit. You're dealing with the harassment of a whole city, and then they'll bring on people who don't really know and try to get people to join in. Like, oh, look at this person. You know, and the people who just seen you for the first time. You know, it, just just bear with me. Just try to follow me. People who who get in your presence for the first time and they don't know when you woke up, you dealt with like a hundred people synchronizing what you following, you doing dumb shit, and then when they someone tells them, oh, get in him, get in front of him, do this, you know, and you might you might walk past a targeted individual and they might me mug you or look at you like tired or whatever, like like they tired because it's not because we're negative people, bro. It's not because we're bad people. It's because we literally deal with constant spiritual battle every day. We're getting attacked on a daily basis, 365 days a year. From the time I open up my eyes to the time I close my sleep, I am getting attacked. I understand I am a true child of Yahweh, bro. Just like most of other people. Most people who's even participating, excuse me, most people who participate on my harassment are fallen children of the Lord, bro. But they chose to, to, to be with Satan. They chose to live in Babylon. This is why they're not having no problems. This is why they give these people things to, excuse me, to Father Harashi. You know, they give them cars and housing and all that. I don't need none of that, bro. I don't, I'm not of the world. I'm just in it living my experience. Like, I don't, it's like these people can't understand no matter how many videos you make. You know, how, now how many times you try to tell people it, it, at the end of the day is just evil versus good. And there's a lot of people on the evil side. You're going to be surprised. There's not going to be a lot of people that sin, bro. There's a, they, they didn't capture you through the, this, this YouTube shit and these spiritual leaders. Just look at some of this shit that they're doing. And you can see, bro, they'll always give away hints. Like I said, with Collide, a whole... You know, he be throwing up the Illuminati sign and all that shit when he be promoting his shit. These people ask for money and like, bro, money is nothing, bro. Even if I was to reach a high threshold of subscribers, I'm not asking nobody for shit. I am true to my word. I'm not materialistic. I'm not worldly. I do not care. The only thing I care about is knowledge, love, and just understanding, you know? Understanding of why the way the world is and it's just like knowledge is, is just key for me. Knowledge is key. That's the only thing I, I seek. That's the only thing I want is to spiritually grow and to heal my body. I kind of, I firmly believe I was on the verge of death. The way I was feeling, the nonstop smoking and all that, I feel like I was on the verge of death. And something just fucking snapped at me, bro. 
Like, I, why should I have to suffer just because people have hatred in them? Just because people want to, you know, they feel a certain type of way about me whenever I'm walking into a, a certain situation. Why should I have to feel negative? Why should I have to feel bad? Nah, bro, I, I'm done. I'm done living in a, a, a negative light. Like how these demons want me to be in. They want me, they want me to be, you know, freeze fight or flight mode, you know, looking around and shit. Yeah, and it starts with your body. It starts with the things you put in. It starts with the things you do. And I I understand that. That's why I say I love this this spiritual, whatever this is, bro. Cause it's like the more I go through, the more I evolve, the more I see. You know, and the enemy is trying so hard. Even for my perps that's watching, there's a, and if you know me, bro, there's a reason that people call me crazy, weird, whatever it is. But in, in Pittsburgh, PA, I am beyond harassed, bro. Walk down the street, everyone who I walk past. Got, that's not, bro, y'all literally praise Satan worshipers, all these music, in, like, bro. And then you, and they want to call you a devil. Like I got hit with indirect so many times. Oh, devil this, devil that. But the people who got money and all this shit are literally Satanists, literally Freemasons, Wiccans, you know, all type of evil roles that that's being, that's like absurd and, you know, righteous people of their energy. By, it's, it's so, it's so sickening, bro. Like evil's good and good is evil, bro. That's what y'all truly need to understand. True child, children of God, bro, is dealing with the most shit right now. And this is why, so this is why you'll catch them in their, their angry phase or whatever. It's not that they're, we're angry people. Like I said earlier, it's not that we're angry or mad or no, we're dealing with constant harassment throughout the community, wherever we are. We're dealing with harassment to it, to the fullest, bro. You know? It's 24 fucking 7. You're getting talked about by everybody. You know, and most people, most people don't understand the things you are going through, bro. And this is why, and I know myself, why it's so hard to get back and, you know, try to talk to people and be nice and be cool. You know, it's, it's fucking hard, bro, because it, Satan's army on earth is big as hell. You're getting harassed left and right. And then whenever you do meet that righteous person, that good in, individual, isn't it funny how, you know, you, you have like the best conversation in the world and it's like they just disappear. It's a constant battle. Even now, as I'm making this video, I'm hearing people scream outside the door and shit, cleaners and shit. Like, bro, it's 24-7, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And people who get targeted understand you're on that threshold of either joining Satan's army or God's army. You have to join God's army. I you have to use your discernment. You have to use your intuition. But I accept Yahweh as my Lord and Savior. I accept him, man. And I got, I got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of studying to do. I'm not perfect. I'm not here to, you know, speak on fool about, you know, call out verses and stuff because I have been blinded for the light for a long time. But there's always been this feeling in me like, what's the truth? What's real? You got all these people saying one thing and, you know, people saying, you know, this is the way, but then they're doing Luciferian things, follow God, you know, but they're doing, they got their hand and something fucked up, you know, and all this new age talks about we are gods, ye are gods. Yeah, yeah, you are. You just can't be prideful, but you have to truly understand a lot of these people, you know, we're a part of God, bro. It's like, I. That's one thing I can say is like just picture the sun and you just got plucked off and put here. You, I mean, you are a God, but it's like a lot of these people is. I'm just, I'm just trying to pick my words carefully, you know. It's just we have the light in us, bro. That's that's all I can say. We have the light in us and Satan's minions, Satan himself, he wants to dim that light. All all that all that matters is that you come in the knowledge and the truth for yourself. Use your own intuition discernment. Even with me in this video, don't take take things I say and you know do your own do your own research. Use your own discernment and intuition to find out what's what. Because there's a reason why everything is so confusing.
You know, there's a reason why is it's just this constant battle, you know, within yourself. But go within, work on yourself, find the answers for yourself, and the most high will reveal it to you. You know, and like I said, I'm not perfect, bro. All this whole journey has been a spiritual battle. I've been getting harassed for four years straight. Everywhere I go, I just get constant indirects of subliminal. Oh, that's the guy that don't talk. That's the that's the that's the asshole. That's the mean dude. That's that's this and that and it. Bro, but the whole time, you know, I'm just I'm I'm praying in my head as I'm walking. I'm I'm asking God, like, give me give me strength, you know, you know, give me reveal certain things to me, you know. And it's like you're just this constant war, bro. Don't let these people gaslight you and trying to destroy your character and assassinate your character. You know, don't don't let these people get to you. Don't let these individuals usurp you for your energy. Don't don't. Don't live in a negative light because the first play and a lot of these people claim God and whatever, but they're literally slandering, gossiping, all type of things that the devil loves and, and Yahweh hates. Like, come on, man. You you people are supposedly children of God, but you're stalking, harassing. Like, I literally started to notice people who be sitting on the corners, you know, if you walk to them or whatever, you know, they'll hand you like a little pamphlet with Jesus and all that shit. I noticed them individuals following me, They're laughing. Oh, same thing. Indirect subliminals. Oh, that's that's the fucking, you know, the hateful guy. That's the uh, like. But you're you're supposedly a child of God. Right. But you're slandering and harassing people. Even even with just small things like that, understand truth and lies, bro. These people, these people are lost, bro. I'm not like these people are lost and I'm not here to to down people and, you know, basically talk down to people. But understand, bro, God's children is not living a comfortable life. I'm not saying it's not possible, but we are in the days where it's it's over. It's over. There's a lot of stuff that's about to happen. It is over. And Satan want as many people as possible. If you don't have a sound mind, a clear conscience, bro, you will fall victim to these people. If you're not working on yourself, if you're not putting the right things in your body, their influence, the frequency, the energy weapons, they will have an effect on you. But if you're doing everything right, brother. If you got on the full body and armor of God, there's nothing these people can do. There's nothing. And now I understand why my life went the way it did, bro. I, I think for everything I went through, you know, there's a reason why I came to Pittsburgh. You know, mom gets killed. All the people who killed her, three people. She get killed by three people, all red shirts on. There's a reason why my brother went crazy, gets locked up. There's a reason why my sister disappeared. It was like I set in motion for the sacrifice, bro. Like whatever this bullshit is, it's like a silent sacrifice. And you guys got the right one. There's no sacrifice in me. You want to. The demons that's watching, I know. I know what it is, bro. Even now as I'm making this video, people, cleaners, these dudes supposed to be gone. But they, of course, they're in my vicinity talking shit. It's your boy, Bahamut. I guess it's a sign for me to get out. And I'll probably change my name. But it's your boy, Bahamut. I'm out of here. Y'all stay up and stay high vibrational.